Yes, sir. Get started. Uh, yeah, Matt, uh, how, how, um, just take us through the last drive there. You were able to hit Kyle to get it started and uh, put your foot down when they were trying to get back in the game. Yeah, I thought a great play call by, by Art um, to start that drive. You got some quarters type coverage where the guys were getting down low to stop some very intermediate uh, play action pass game and to slip Kyle behind there, uh, you know, was a really good call. Great play by Kyle. And uh, that really was the jump start for us on that last drive. Got us going and uh, it wasn't perfect on that last drive, but we made the plays we needed to make. And uh, it was great to, to get Mike in the end zone at the end of the game. Did you say anything to Kyle for his uh, you know, first 100-yard game as an Atlanta Falcon? I, I just told him right before I came in here, uh, I'm proud of him. And uh, I think there's going to be a lot of those in the future for him. He's done a great job of uh, focusing on growth and development day in and day out and just trying to get better. And there's a lot of noise, both positive and negative, that you know, can, can distract you from that. But... Um, you know, he's been as good of a young guy of, of being able to just focus in on, on working hard every day and getting better. And I think he's done that for the five games we've had. Uh, and, you know, I expect him to continue that. Uh, I think it's, it's, you know, showing that he is, you know, a really talented player and can be a great player in this league. And uh, in the first half, as you built the 20s to another uh, league, was it a conscious uh, – Absolutely. You know, I think coming into the game, uh, we felt like, you know, we, we wanted to get those guys going. And um, you never know how it's going to shake out. You know, coverage can take you to different spots. But um, we got some some man to man coverage looks and our guys won. And, uh, you know, I thought Hayden played really well for us today. I thought Kyle did an excellent job. Lee Smith. You know, the big fellow was out there making a few plays for us, too, in the passing game. So uh, as a group, I thought their, their entire group played well. Is that a career high for Lee? <laughs> I don't know if it's a career high, but I think he might be on, he might be on pace for a season high. I mean, he's, he seems like he's getting a catch or two every week. And another milestone for you today, uh, 5,000 completion, that's a lot. Uh, <laughs> any thoughts on that? Yeah, it's, um, you know, I, I'm, I'm proud of that. Um, you know, I've, I've completed the ball to a lot of, of great players uh, in those 5,000 completions. And I certainly wouldn't uh, still be in this position if I wasn't surrounded by an incredible supporting cast. So um, you know, I'm, I'm very proud to still be doing it and feel like I'm doing it at a high level. And I certainly had a lot of, of, of help along the way. So I'm appreciative of that. You also passed Eli Manning up to eighth up next to him. Were you just when you're getting old, man? I feel pretty good. I feel I feel pretty good. Um, you know, it's it's one of those things you don't think about it as a player. Um, you, you know, you focus every week on on trying to get yourself ready to play the best you possibly can that week. And I think you know, having tried to stay in that mindset for uh, the duration of my career has allowed me to kind of stack some of those um, accomplishments. And I won't change. You know, I think uh, I'm proud of what I've accomplished, but I'm focused on. You know, trying to help this team win as we move forward. You played in a lot of epic venues, pregame ceremonies. What was it like out there with the crowd, the pageantry before everything? It was incredible. You know, this this stadium is beautiful. It's amazing. Uh, the atmosphere was uh, really cool. It was probably one of the best flyovers I've ever seen. Those those planes were tight to the stadium. So uh, that was uh, that got you know that got my juices going before the game, and uh, it's always. You know, I've, I've done this twice. I've, I've been able to come over here and, and play here twice. And it's always a special event. And, um, you know, a huge thank you to everybody over here in the UK who makes it such a special event for us. Well, it feels better we left here with win uh, uh, this time. So I'm a fan of, of this stadium. But, you know, even Wembley, uh, the history of, of that stadium and what it means um, you know, to this country and the games that have been played here, um, the magnitude of those games. I mean, it, it's, you know, it's not lost on us uh, coming over here to, to play in Wembley as well. So um, I've really, you know, enjoyed both of my experiences over here. I have to, uh, just a few minutes ago, Mike Davis was in here and he described the journey to London as a long ass flight. <laughs> uh, how difficult is it for you and your teammates uh, to make the journey over to London and also adjusting to the time difference? 
It is a long ass flight. There's no question about that. We got a long ass flight going home tonight too. But um, you know, I thought I thought our support staff and coaching staff did a great job of of getting us ready to play this week. And whether that was preparing uh, preparing early in the morning back in Atlanta before we came over Thursday night, um, to everything that you know our operations uh, department had planned for us while we were here, uh, we didn't want for anything. We, we were given great advice on how to get our ourselves and our bodies and our minds adjusted. And uh, I thought guys did a good job of being professional about it and getting themselves ready to go. Yeah, it's, uh, I mean, it is another game on the schedule, um, but it's definitely different. I mean, you, you know, the, the routine of the week is much different uh, when you play, you know, in, in, at, you know back in the States. Um, you know, it's just shorter flights. It's, it's just easier travel. And so, you know, I think you got to embrace the, the, the different week, the different routine, and, and try and do it as well as you can. And so um, I don't think it's just another game. You know, I think it... It definitely feels different. It's got a different feel to it. But I thought, for the most part, we did a great job of embracing that difference all week. And uh, we're happy to you know, come away with the win today. Yeah, I think, you know, it, it, it's great, um, you know, to expose, you know, pretty much an American game to, to different places. And, you know, you see that you get great support. There are fans over here uh, and you can feel that. And I'm sure, you know, with what NFL Europe do, uh, did during its time here from guys that I played with at the beginning a long time ago, some of those guys played over here. And they mentioned that, you know, the, the atmospheres in Germany were incredible. So I don't know anything about it of, of what they're going to do, but you know, if if it takes a you know Falcon seven more years to get over here, I hope I'm still playing and you know can come back and, and enjoy that experience as well. <laughs> it's coming at the right time. You know, there there's no doubt about it. I think it's and I you know that was a little bit of of my message to to the team afterwards is that you know we're. We're building as a team, and, and we're getting better. And we need to approach this bye week with the right mindset, you know, to get ourselves mentally fresh, our bodies uh, fresh, so that we can come back and um, in the next stretch of five or six games before we play on a Thursday night, and then have an extended period off, uh, we can get ourselves back in the mix. And, and um, you know, that's got to be the mindset for us. I don't know if fatigue was or not. Um, I had a lot of confidence in our guys coming in, you know, that, that they would, you know, get the job done. And uh, I was pleasantly surprised, you know, with, with some of the separation, you know, and uh, I just tried to give them opportunities to make plays. And I really thought, you know, um, it's, it, it was an opportunity for a number of our wide receivers to step up and make plays. They had more playing time than they normally have. And, I thought, you know, Lamade Zacchaeus, uh, Tajay Sharp, Christian Blake, I thought those three guys did an amazing job for us today. I thought the whole line did a great job. Um, you know, I, I understand that the Jets are um, one and four, but their defensive line is very strong and, uh, you know, a very good group. And I thought our offensive line did a great job today of, of stepping up to that challenge. They fight, you know, they really do. They fight hard, and, and I appreciate that. Um, they give it everything they've got, and uh, I thought they did a pretty good job today. CP, Cordell, you know, as many yards by himself as the Jets had, had in, in the first half. What is he doing with the threat he has, both receiving and running, that opens up the entire game? Well, I think he's, he's an incredibly versatile player. Um, he can, you know, you mentioned it. He runs the ball physical, hard, has the ability to come out the back end at any time. 
uh, and then, you know, was drafted as a wide receiver in this league. And, you know, you can put him out there and he can, he can go do what wide receivers do. And not many, you know, not many people on this planet uh, have that, you know, versatility. And uh, he's certainly, you know, been tough for defenses to adjust to where he's going to be uh, in the first five weeks of the season for us. So he just, you know, we need to continue to, you know, try and get him touches and, and find ways to, to get him the ball because he's a playmaker. Got time for one more? Yeah, it was, you know, quarters type coverage, which we talk about, which is low safeties. And I thought it was an excellent call by Arthur Smith uh, at a time where they were kind of coming down, trying to be aggressive. Uh, our offensive line did a great job of holding up long enough to be able to throw it down the field. Kyle got behind the defense. I mean, his, he's got incredible speed, you know, for a tight end player. And uh, that's not a thing most guys can do. Uh, and, you know, I thought that was a great play by Kyle and a, and a really good call by Arthur Smith. All right, thank you guys. All right, thank you. Appreciate it.